Hello everyone, welcome to another French Fry Trains Minecraft Train Tutorial. Today we're going to continue on with our Amtrak train we've been building in our previous few videos. Today we're going to be building this sleeper car with full interior and bedrooms and roomettes. So let's get on into it. So we're going to go ahead and build it right on the back of the Amtrak train we've already started. And as usual, I have not built this beforehand, so we're figuring out as we go. First thing we're going to do is take out a dark oak fence to be the coupler. And we're going to place that on this coupler here. Underneath that, we put a dark oak fence gate to be the air hose. Now we're going to take out dark oak fences and put two of them on each bottom corner to be the MU cables. Switch to light gray concrete, one in the middle of the coupler. Then a slab another light gray concrete, and then an andesite slab, and another light gray concrete. So it should look something like that. Behind that, a row of three light gray concrete in the middle, and behind that, a row of five. Now we're gonna build our first truck, so take out a block of netherite to be the wheels, and get one placed on the next block back on the rail. Delete the ones you use for placement, an end rod for an axle, and then netherite on this wheel. Behind that, a 3x3 three three of nether brick slabs. Then, a block of netherite on each rail and an end rod axle. Switch to polished blackstone stairs, upside down facing backward on the outside here, and upside down facing forward on the outside on these wheels. Then, polished blackstone slab comes across the bottom middle there. Same thing on this side, three polished blackstone slabs on the bottom. Above the truck, on each side, we're going to bring light gray concrete all the way to the end here. And in the middle, we're going to fill all that in, but stop one block before the end. Then we put polished andesite slabs across those wheels. Then on the outside, come behind this wheel and bring this out by 10 with your gray concrete. So 10 blocks long. And on the end, we're going to put a marker block above to mark where the door is. And then we're going to keep using light gray concrete and we're going to fill in this all the way to the end of this. So it goes all the way across the railroad tracks by five. Now we can come up on top here and extend out this outside edges on each side all the way to the end. Now we're going to fill in this bottom by another two rows of five for the doorway. And then we're going to start the next things on the outside edge and we're going to mark it up for the edges of the doorway here. Now extend this out by another nine so it's ten blocks in total including that door frame. And then we just go ahead and fill all of this into the end. Then come up above it here and extend both sides on the outside edges all the way down to the end. Now we build the next truck. So a block of netherite on each rail for the wheels, and rod for an axle, a 3x3 three three of nether brick slabs, and then netherite on each rail for the wheels, another end rod axle. Upside down, backward facing, polished blackstone stairs on the outside of these wheels, and upside down, forward facing, polished blackstone stairs on the edge of these wheels. And then across the bottom middle gap, three polished blackstone slabs on each side on the lower hip box. Come above it with your light gray concrete, and we're going to extend this out on each side to the end of the rails here. Then we go ahead and fill in this middle, but where these last set of wheels are, we're going to put slabs to be a stair. On the outside edge here, fill in the middle three and then the middle one, and then andesite slabs on each side, and then concrete on the outside. Now we take out a dark oak fence for the coupler on this side, get it raised up to the height it needs to be, delete the ones you use for placement, and underneath that, dark oak fence gate for the air hose, and we need to bring that all the way back to the wheel so it looks like it's going under the car. Go ahead and take out a dark oak fence for the MU cables and put them on each side. Come on down to the other end of the car and switch to your dark oak fence gates 
because we need to extend the air hose underneath there. So extend that out to the wheels so the air hose is going all the way underneath. Now take out polished andesite stairs and put them upside down in all four corners of the car where there's this little gap because there's a tiny little ladder on the sleeper cars here. So in each of the corners on each end of the car, we put upside down polished andesite stairs. Then below each of the stairs we put in, we put a polished andesite slab underneath it, just to complete the look of the ladder and look, make it look like it has more than one step. So do that on all four corners. Polish andesite slab underneath the upside down stairs we just placed. Now come around on top with light gray concrete and make a column of two in each corner of the car on both ends. So same thing over here, a column of two in each corner. Come on down on this side and extend your light gray concrete out on each side by another column of two. Then this end of the car has some vents, so we're gonna take out bedrock and we're gonna make a two by three on each side to be the vents here. Come on down on the other end of the car and extend these out by another column of two light gray concrete on each side. And this side has like some doors. And for that to differentiate it, I'm gonna use a light gray shulker box. And we're probably gonna have to crouch to place these. But we're gonna put a row of two shulker boxes and then we're gonna crouch and we're gonna put two more above them. So that looks like the little doors that are on the outside of this end. Now we're gonna come down to the middle of the car here where the gap for the doorway is and we're gonna extend the next level up by one just to help frame in where the door's at. On this side of the car that has the vents, we're gonna bring it forward by seven light gray wool because there's like this little ridge detailing on the side. In front of that, we're gonna put two black stained glass to be a window. And then we're gonna fill in the rest to that vent with the light gray wool. Now the other side of the car that doesn't have the vents is slightly different because this car is asymmetrical. There's windows on this end. So we're gonna take out light gray concrete here and we're gonna put one more in front of the door, then three black stained glass, light gray concrete, three black stained glass, light gray concrete, two black stained glass, and light gray concrete. Come on to the other side of the car here and we have to mirror it. So a light gray concrete in front of the shulker boxes. I pause for a second here to switch it to daytime so we can see better. Then two stained glass, one concrete, two or three stained glass here, one concrete, three more stained glass, and one concrete. Now on this side, we mirror how we did it over there. So seven light gray wool, and then two stained glass, and then light gray wool over to the vent. Here I seen we miscalculated the height of the gray, so knock out these two gray blocks and put blue concrete in on each side, because this is where our striping will begin. Then blue concrete here, making sure we're not filling in where the tops of any of the windows are. We get here, we can come across the top of the doorway to fill that in and just keep putting blue concrete anywhere there's a support post. Knock out these two on the end and put blue as well. Same here. So blue there, blue there, blue there, blue there. Just make sure you don't fill in above the windows, but you can fill in above the door here. Bring that all the way forward, skip that window, and bring that forward. Now we're gonna go ahead and fill in the tops of all these windows with black stained glass on both sides, wherever the window is. Now come on down to the end of the car here with white concrete and fill in end to end on both sides of the car with just your white concrete block. Come on down to the middle of the car here because on this sleeper car, the stairs are actually in the middle and it's gonna be tricky to do with the limited space we have. So above the doorway, we're gonna place a stair facing this way. So it's right above the door like that. And then another one coming down, and then we're gonna turn it 
and make the staircase coming sideways. Just make sure your stairs are on the side with wool, not the side with windows. Switch to red concrete and put two blocks on the end of each side here. Then skip two blocks and put another two red concrete on each side here. In front of that, we're gonna put three stained glass, then a red concrete, and three stained glass, red concrete, and then three stained glass, and a red concrete in a row of two, which should be lined up directly above the door. On the other end of the car, we put two red concrete, then switch to black stained glass, two of those, a red concrete, three stained glass, red concrete, three stained glass, red concrete, three stained glass again, and then we're gonna fill that in with red concrete. Now we're gonna come to the other side and we're gonna mirror it exactly. So two red concrete, two glass, concrete, three glass, concrete, three glass, concrete, three glass. Then back to concrete in a row of four here. Now three glass, one concrete, three glass, one concrete, three glass. And that should line up. And go ahead and fill in those gaps with glass too. Then above that, we're gonna place light gray concrete, but making sure not to fill in anywhere above the windows. And we're gonna do that all the way down on both sides. Now we're gonna fill in the tops of all these windows on both sides with black stained glass. Now come on down to the end of the car here with light gray wool and start filling it in up by three. So you have a three by three of light gray wool and then come up by two on each side to make the door frame. Come on down to the other end of the car and we're gonna do the exact same thing. So a three by three of light gray wool, and then two coming up on each side for the door. Now we're gonna put our doors on. Use whatever one you think looks best, because we don't have gray doors in Minecraft. So one on the upper level on each end here, and then we come around and we have our bottom doors, so two on each side here, and then two on this side as well. Now take out a redstone torch, and this is something I missed in our last video. The cars have these marker lights on them in case they're the end of the car. So I'm gonna go back on the cars from our last tutorial and put the marker lights two blocks down from the top on each side of all the cars. And I know they really wouldn't all be lit up, but it looks cool to have things lit up in Minecraft, so I'm using redstone torches for all of these marker lights on the cars here. Two in between there. And then we can go ahead and come add them to the car we're actually building. So one there. One there. And then come down and do the other corners here. And one on each corner here. Directly under this door on the end, we put an iron trap door. And one block down from that, a blackstone polished slab. Then we take out polished blackstone wall and we bring it down and then up to the top of the door here and we're gonna come across the top of the doorway above it and actually these bottom ones by the slab shouldn't be there so it should look like that and we'll come around and do the same thing on the other side this makes that nice and close walkway between cars so we need a slab and we need another trap door under the door and then we need to bring the black stone walls all the way up above the door and around the top of it so three across and then bring it back down on this side come on down inside the car on the side here that has the wool and not the windows take out stripped acacia logs because a lot of these amtrak cars have wood detailing inside and we're going to raise them up by three to surround that staircase here. 
come to the side of this staircase here and knock these out because the pattern's wrong, we want them going vertically. Now we have to build the shower and the bathroom, and there's not much space to work with here, so bear with me. So we're going to take out our stripped logs again, and we're going to raise them up by three just in front of these windows. Make sure the pattern's vertical. Then bring it out by another three by three here, and then we'll build our shower. Come down in here with a trip wire hook on the top to be the shower and a button to be the controls for it. And actually, we need to make room for the bathroom. So, we're gonna knock out these to leave space for a door and we'll fill this wall in right here. Like I said, there's not much space to work with. In this gap, we'll put an end portal to be the toilet. Now we'll place some doors on both of these and we'll get our strip logs above them to fill it in. So the shower and the toilet is done. I wasn't sure what's in the end of the car by these vents in real life, so we're just gonna wing it. I'm gonna take out white shulker boxes and I'm gonna put a row of three here. This'll just be like the hot water tank. And I'm actually gonna delete them, make sure they're all facing the same way. And then I'm gonna put two brewing stands on top to be some piping. On the other side, we're gonna put three anvils. Above that, we'll put three walls to be some more piping. Then skip a block and we'll make a door frame with our stripped logs and put a door in. And that'll be like a crew only area to access the mechanics of the car. Now on this side here, there's actually gonna be roomettes. So in the window divider, we're gonna place a row of two and a row of two here of strip logs. And then another row of two here. So we have a couple roomettes on this side. The roomettes have seats that fold the beds, so we're just gonna put two rows of warp stairs to be the seats facing each other in each of these roomettes here. And since we don't have that much space, we're gonna use iron doors as the walls so we have room to walk on the outside. So place an iron door like that in front of each of the stairs, and then we'll place a regular door in the middle so that it can actually open into the roomette. And here you can see I'm placing it on the wrong side. I was trying to figure it out. So I got a door, regular door in the middle and iron doors in front of the seats to be the walls. Now we've got it going. And now we can open that door and walk into the room and the doors leave us enough space to walk down the hallway. Come into the room at and above the door, put stairs like this. So there's like a little shelf above the seats here just to fill in that gap. And here I was just testing to make sure it will work and it does. We can fit walking down the hallway and we can open that middle door to go into the room at. Now in this end down here where we have this big group of empty space, we're gonna make another shower that's even bigger. So this would be like the handicap stall. So put your stripped logs on each side and then we're gonna come in here and we're gonna place an end portal for a toilet. We're gonna do some upside down stairs here for like a little bench. And then we'll come on the end, a button for the controls. And we gotta take out a trip wire hook here. And that's gonna be the shower head. So get the trip wire hook and place that on top above the button. Then we're gonna put a door across that. Now we're going to add lighting and due to limited space I'm using a torch, so one in the middle there. We'll put one on each side in front of that window. We're going to put one above this bathroom, one above the door in this shower. We'll put one on each side of this in the central doorway here. And we'll put one on there on each side of the top block for the roomettes. And then we're gonna go ahead and put one on each side of this door and one in that shower. So now everything should be lit up on bottom. Now on the level where this white concrete is, we're gonna go ahead and fill in the whole middle three end to end with light gray concrete. When we get to these stairs in the middle here, we leave a gap there and kind of like that. So there's this L shape and we can walk up the stairs. 
and then just continually filling in to the other end of the car with light gray concrete. Now here, I do apologize, I miscalculated the height of the windows on the top floor. So what we're going to have to do is knock out the bottom half of all these windows and then we're going to go ahead and go in our inventory and get red concrete and fill in the bottom half of all these windows with red concrete. Sorry about that. I don't know what it is about this Amtrak train, but I keep having major errors every time I build a car for it. So just keep knocking out the bottom halves of all the windows on each side and fill it with red concrete. Now we're going to take out light gray concrete again and we're going to come up on top and raise this up by one. There I had a little error. Go ahead and bring it right across the top of that door there and just fill in everywhere we have light gray concrete underneath with light gray concrete there leaving a gap where all the windows are. And do that on both sides of the car. So just keep coming down with your light gray concrete. And then when we get all the way to the other end, we're going to do the same thing here and come all the way across and fill in the top of that door. Now take out black stained glass and go ahead and fill in the top halves of all these windows on both sides. We come on by the stairs, fill in that middle block with concrete, and I'm actually going to change this top stair here. So we're going to delete that top stair and rotate it so that it's coming this way. On this side, we're going to put strip logs in a row of two coming up to the top, and then one in the middle there to be part of the pedestal of the staircase. Now the whole upstairs is bedrooms, so we got to get the walls for them. So row of two, everywhere there's a window divider. And a row of two right here. And we'll leave a space at the end of the car here. Now come back down towards the stairs here. And on this side, I've miscalculated the width of the stairs. And rather than rebuild the whole car, to fix it, we'll just make this one in front of this window a half bedroom instead of a full bedroom. So we'll go ahead and put a wall of stripped logs coming out by two here. And then another one in this window divider. So that'll just end up being a half bedroom there. And then we'll come down another one in this divider and another one here. So on this side we'll have two full bedrooms and one half. Come down by these stairs here and place a temporary block in that gap and then take whatever trapdoor you think looks best there and we're gonna close it against that block so there's a railing so people don't fall into the stairway. Now we're gonna build the bedrooms. So take out blue beds and put one like this on each side of the bedroom here. Above that we place some temporary blocks so that we can place another set of blue beds on each side above it. Then delete your temporary blocks. And we'll be doing that same thing in each bedroom. So two beds above that temporary blocks, and then two beds on those, delete the temporary blocks. So it'll be like each full bedroom has four beds. Now this one, like I said, will be a half bedroom. So we'll just place one bed and then temporary blocks and one bed above it. And then we'll come on down to the other side of the car here and do the same thing. So each bedroom gets two beds on each side of the bedrooms here. And then we go ahead and place temporary blocks above all the beds. And then we place beds above the temporary blocks and delete those. Couple more rooms to go here, so more temporary blocks. The beds on top, delete the temporary blocks. And then same thing for this last room. More temporary blocks above the beds on each side. Beds above that, and delete the temporary blocks. Now the interiors of the bedrooms are done. 
and we got to do the outside wall. So come around this way. And much like on the bottom, we're going to put iron trap doors in front of all the beds and then whatever regular door you want to actually make the opening door to get in the room. This one we just do one iron trap door in front of the beds. So regular door in the middle, iron trap door on each of the beds. And just keep doing that for all of the rooms. Come around and stand on this top edge on the opposite side of the rooms here. And we're going to crouch and we're going to place birch trap doors above those doors. And then we can close them and that fills in the top of the wall to block off the bedrooms fully. So just move down for each one, stand on that edge, crouch and place the trap doors and close them. And then same thing here. This one you'll only have to do two because that room's smaller. Just keep crouching and placing the trap doors and then closing them. This will allow us the space to actually walk through this hallway. When you're working with a three block wide thing, you don't have much options. Now in these spaces near the end of the cars, we're just going to go ahead and put some shelving. So place two temporary blocks right here and then close two trap doors against it, erase the temporary blocks, and we'll make two rows of trap doors to be shelving. Just so that ends filled in a little bit more. Then we're going to take out a torch to be some lighting. We'll place it on each side above the door. And we're going to come down here, same thing, a torch on each side above the door. Then we're going to go ahead and place our temporary blocks. Close two trap doors against it to be the side of the shelving unit here. Erase those temporary blocks. And same thing as on the other end, two rows of trap doors to be the shelves. Then come back in with our torches and we're just going to go ahead and place one on the top of all of these stripped logs. So the top of the car has lighting. Because the trap doors and doors are impervious to light, that'll help light up the interior of the bedrooms. Then we take out gray concrete in this top middle three and go ahead and fill it all the way in end to end. Now take out stone stairs and we're gonna place them right side up end to end on this outside edge on both sides of the car. Now we're just about done here, but I just realized the detail I forgot. So we're gonna go ahead and go into our inventory and we're gonna take out iron bars here. And we're gonna come down on the corners where we have that tiny little ladder and we're gonna make some iron bars to be grab irons for climbing up that ladder. Same thing on this one and then go to the other end of the corner and do both sides where those little ladders are so that you have railings on all the ladders. Now I'm just going to do a final walkthrough here to make sure everything works and nothing's blocking our path. So we're going to come inside here and see, make sure we can fit down this hallway and we can. We can open the door to go into a roomette here. Pretend we're riding the train if you want. We can get into this bathroom. Now we're going to come up on the other end here. We'll test these stairs, make sure we can walk up them and everything looks good. We can, we can get to the top. We can get into the bedrooms here. Close it up, pretend you're riding the train. We'll come back out. Continue down the hallway here. Accidentally placed the stair there, so I had to delete it. We can look out the back. We can come on down all the way to the other end of the car. Walk between the cars here. Here we're into the coach car we built last time. This is my favorite part of building passenger trains in Minecraft. Being able to walk through the whole interior of the train. So we've completed our sleeper car with bedrooms on the top and roomettes on the bottom. Feel free 
to use the structure command to copy as many as you would like on your train. I'll probably do that in the future. If you need to know how to use the structure command to copy things, I did that in my last video where we built the coach car, so make sure you check that out. And stay tuned for more, because in the future, we still have to build an observation car, dining cars, baggage cars, and more to complete this Amtrak train. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone have a great week. Stay safe out there.